Hey everybody, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today I have a couple really quick tips. First is how to organize your track templates. So when you right click in this empty area of the TCP, you have this option of inserting track from template. And just today I realized that you can put your track templates into folders. So let's look at how we do that in Finder. So I'm looking at my Reaper resources folder you can also find that by going to the Options menu and Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer slash Finder. Brings up the same window there. And we're looking at the Track Templates folder. So Track Templates. Within this folder, you can simply add new folders to organize your tracks. So I have some effects tracks, like kind of like preset effects chains with routing. Sometimes it's multiple tracks, things like that. Instruments, this is uh, multi timbral instruments or multi outputs for things like Easy Drummer. And similar to that, we also have the option to do this organization with effects chains. And I've actually been really holding back on making effects chains. Um, I could be making an effects chain every time I mix a song for my mix bus or my drum buses. I could be making up a library of different effects chains that I can quickly AB on different mixes and save a lot of time. But I haven't been doing that because this list easily gets too big to be manageable. I didn't even realize that you can make folders. So it's the exact same process. We're going for the effects chains folder. And inside here, you can make a new folder. Let's call this voice. And I'll make another folder for sound design. So grab these and the shimmer drone and put that into sound design folder. Go up. John's voice, I want the megaphone effects. Those ones for now. If we right click on the effects button, we have our folders up at the top. In the effects chains view, we don't necessarily see the folder names. We can kind of see here voice, John's voice. But don't forget that we have the filter so we can always search in this area. One more quick tip to round this all out. We can use emojis in our folder names. So on the Mac, I'm pressing Control Command Spacebar. That brings up the special character keyboard. And we can choose any emoji we want. There might be a microphone. I'm not sure. Let's see. Is there a microphone? Yeah, there is a microphone. Just hit enter there to save the name and we go into Reaper. Let's zoom in here so we can see this nice add effects chain and we got voice and there's a little icon and that makes it stand out a little bit better. So there you go. Three tips for organizing your track templates and effects chains. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.